I'm gonna show you how to level up your tabs game in Elementor so you can go from tab tiles or buttons, whatever you wanna call them, that look like this, to something that looks like this, or like this, or really any way you want without any additional plugins. So let's go. Now let me preface this by saying this is not a one size fits all solution. You're gonna have to dig into a little bit of CSS here, but if I can do it, so can you, trust me. It's really simple. I'm gonna paste everything down below so you can copy it anytime you want to. And also there are some pretty obvious limitations. For example, tap titles that are just too long are not gonna look good because it's gonna break on mobile. And Elementor has some pretty funky bugs that pest templates sometimes. But other than that, there's a lot we can do here. Now the first thing you're gonna need are templates. Let me show you how this works really quick. All you have to do is make a section and you can put anything in that section, any widget, any content, whatever. And then all you have to do is right click this and save as template. So name it, save it. Now go to your dashboard and go to templates, save to template. Now you're gonna see every template you have right here. Now on the right, there's a short code and this is what we're gonna use to put the template into the tab. And in here, you're also gonna be able to edit the templates anytime, just go over here and press edit with Elementor. Pro tip regarding the templates, when you have a template, I would recommend making sure that when you go on mobile view, there are no margins or paddings. This is gonna allow you to control everything without any interference. Now, once we have our content, let's create the tabs. Create a new section with however many columns you need. I'll stick to one for ease of use and place in a tabs widget. Under content, you're gonna make as many tabs as you need. I'm gonna make three. Ideally, you would use two, but three works as long as your titles are not too long. So now I have three tabs. And uh, if we look at how I can style this there's not much i can do so you're gonna name your tabs first off i'm gonna just keep the names as tab one tab two tab three and now you're gonna copy and paste in the short code so for the first one i want to take this ice cream one i'm gonna take the short code i'm gonna paste it into the first tab okay just right in here i'm just gonna repeat that for all of them under alignment make sure you center them if you want to then go to style under title we're gonna change the color to set the default color of the text i'm gonna put in a black so you can tell it's black now and you don't have to touch the active color at all because we are gonna override that with css the next step really important one is to give the tabs an id so you go under advanced and at css id we're gonna type in h hyphen tabs for the css id you can put in anything but i recommend you name them h hyphen tabs just for ease of use. Now here comes the CSS. You can tell the tabs are pretty basic, but we're gonna style them because I don't see much value in me typing the CSS by hand and you just waiting for me to finish. I'm gonna paste in the exact same CSS and show you how to customize it for your specific use. And then I'm gonna paste it down below, of course. We're gonna go under advanced and custom CSS. Now this is in pro, in the free version of Elementor, you're gonna have to put all of this under customize. And here you're gonna go into additional CSS and then you're gonna paste it in. And we're just gonna copy and paste in the CSS. Now nothing really happens. That is because we have to do two things to make this work. The very first thing you're gonna need is the ID of the tabs you will be styling. So what I'm gonna do is publish this or update it and then go to preview. I really recommend using Mozilla Firefox for this because I find their spec tool is just the easiest to use. Hover over the element you're trying to inspect, right click and press inspect. So let's stick to tab one, for example. Right in here, you're gonna see the div ID equals Elementor tab title 1421. This is what we need. This is one of the three we need and you can tell the second one is 1422. The third one is 1423. Right in here, in the CSS, I have my previous IDs and I have to switch these out. All you have to do is change the numbers. Whatever your numbers are, the first one goes here and here. The second one goes here and here, and the third one goes here and here. Now there's an issue here. When I hover and press stuff, you can tell it's not clean. There, there's this gray border. We're gonna fix that by just going to taps, style, border width, and set this to zero. And boom, it's gone. And it's gone. So you can tell we have this hover effect and it's rounded and it looks way better than it did. So real quick, let's go over to CSS, what each section does. The first few lines just add in basing styling, like the border radius. So that makes the circle edges, the padding and the border, the second part. And this is the same for all three tab titles, adds in the hover, what it's gonna look like when you hover over it. You can see I can change in the color here. Really here you can change the color for each one so it's more unique, but I'm just gonna keep it black for now. Now this is just repeated for all tabs. The only difference is in the middle tab, it doesn't have the border radiuses and the border is not on all four sides, it's just on the top and bottom. So we don't get a du duplicate border right here. So that's the only difference between these three, otherwise it's the same CSS with different IDs. Now we have to make everything responsive. For this, you can just copy and paste in the CSS without changing anything, unless you chose a different CSS ID, in which 
which case you're gonna have to change that everywhere. This part of the CSS is gonna make sure the tabs don't stack upon one another and that they stay in the same row. This is gonna make sure the old tabs that do stack up on one another don't show up. And this is gonna impact the padding a bit. You can obviously change this however you want. And uh, this part of the CSS is gonna add in some padding to the whole tabs bar. So it's gonna look like this, for example, or like this. This part is gonna make sure the tabs stay centered no matter the resolution, which is gonna avoid this happening. You see this right here? The last part we have to find is this. It's a mouthful to say, so I'm not even gonna try. So this is gonna style the tabs when they are active. We do the same thing. We go over to our live page. We just have to go over to tab one, right click, inspect, and then you're gonna have it somewhere over here. You can find this very easily if you focus on the word active while looking. For me, it's right here. Just copy it, paste it in, just like this, right in here. You can delete the A and then just change the colors to whatever you want. This overrides any styling of the active color what you, you did before. And I'm just gonna change the color of the text to white. And this is what it looks like. This is what we're left with. If you are having issues finding this, go into your inspector and into filter styles. It's basically a search bar and just type in the word active. And if you still can't find it, check the other tabs as well. Check all the tabs, it is in here somewhere. Now it's really up to you to style this however you want. You can play around with the colors, the shapes, the borders, whatever you want, let your imagination run wild. Now, if you found this video helpful, continue on to this one. I think you're gonna find it very interesting. And if you have any questions or you run into any issues, please feel free to reach out, comment down below, and I'm gonna do my best to help you. So hopefully together we can get to the bottom of it. Hit that subscribe button, one of these doesn't hurt either. And thank you for watching.